Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome animated organic looking text highlighter effect from scratch. Let's go. Okay, first step, load some footage into your, basically into your program panel like I've done here. I've got an old newspaper. The next step, we're going to go up to the toolbar here, select the rectangle tool, and we're going to draw a rectangle around the area that we want to basically highlight. So something like that. It's not quite perfect, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our effect controls panel, and then we're going to click on this um, chevron or this triangle beside shape one, and we need to rotate it a little bit. Now I'm just going to rotate it to the right by two degrees so that it's basically matching the same direction as the newspaper. This is an optional step, but hey, it's one that I like to use. So there we go, we've got it lined up. Now we're gonna go back to this shape in the effect controls panel. We'll click on the fill color and select the color for the highlighter. I'm going with yellow, but you can go with blue or pink or whatever you wanna use for your highlighter. Okay, good stuff. Now, in the effect controls panel, go down a little further and you're gonna see blend mode. Right now it's set to normal. We need to switch that to multiply. As soon as you do that, you're gonna see what we're working with here and you're gonna see we've got the sort of drawn on uh, highlighter effect, but we're not quite where we need to be. So making again sure that you're still clicked on there. What we want to do now is we have to go ahead and go back to the shape and we've gotta basically move the anchor point. So right here, when I click on this anchor point, let's just see where it is. Right now, it is located in the middle. Let me grab my pen tool, my move tool, pardon me. Clicking on the anchor point, it's right here in the middle, like where it's supposed to be. You want to move that all the way to the left, right to basically where that middle uh, point is on the left side. So we've moved the anchor point. Very, very important part. Now, what we want to do now is we want to go down to scale Click on this and open this up. And before I do anything, you'll see here that there's a uniform scale check mark box. Click on that. What this does is it now gives us horizontal and vertical scale. We only want to work with horizontal scale. So making sure your playhead's at the beginning, click on this stopwatch on horizontal scale, take it down to zero. Now move your playhead forward a little bit to wherever you want it to end. And now take the horizontal scale up to 100 or well, whatever, up to 100 is fine, but you can go a little past that if you want, whatever, something like that. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna go to the beginning, presto. We've got it now applied. The final step, this is an optional one, but I like it. So you wanna go to your effects panel, which I've got right here. If you don't see it, go to window, works, uh, go to extension, or pardon me, window and make sure effects has a check mark beside it. Type in roughen edges, drop that now on top of the graphic. And now watch what happens. You get the option to go ahead and just start making some changes. So right out of the gate, you'll see here it's got a rougher border. It's got edge sharpness. And you guys can go ahead and make some changes as you see fit. I like to add in a little bit of turbulence. And presto, you've got a perfect animated highlight text. Thanks for watching.